Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to introduce you to the new Waypoints capability of the Mavic Air. I'm going to be using the Litchi app at some point in the future. The DJI Go 4 app may have that capability. I do have a video on that. Check out the link in the description. And so let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm starting the app, but before I actually plan a mission, I want to go over some key advantages of the Litchi app if you're not already familiar with it. One is you can pre-plan flight missions on the app or on a computer without the drone being connected. Save and name your flight missions. Set altitude and speed at each waypoint. Set multiple camera focus points. Set and adjust curves between waypoints so you could have a nice smooth transition between the waypoints. Fly your drone autonomously, meaning that the drone will continue to fly the mission without it even being connected to the remote control. Plus, there's many other flight modes. So let's go ahead and plan a mission. The first thing I'm going to do is set camera focus points, which are referred to as points of interest within the app. One right there. Another one over here where the buildings are another one right at the corner and now I'm going to set a waypoint waypoint number one waypoint number two waypoint number three and on waypoint two I'm changing the point of interest from three to one changing the direction where I want the camera to focus at Waypoint number four. Waypoint number five. Waypoint number five, I'm actually going to set the altitude higher, so instead of the 49 feet that all the other waypoints are set at, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it quite a bit higher to 299 feet. All right. So we are pretty much all set there. Take note there that there's a blue path. That's the curved turn so that it has a smooth transition as it reaches each of the waypoints. Started recording. Pressing OK. Uploaded the mission. Now the drone's going to automatically take off. I could set the remote control down. Don't need to touch anything on the remote control. It will completely fly the mission as planned. So it's now heading to the first waypoint as marked by the blue arrow. We reached waypoint one, heading to waypoint number two with the camera focusing on the point of interest mark number one. You can see that as we're passing by these boats, the camera is automatically changing its angle and staying focused in the center of where all these boats are located. And look at how nice and smooth the transition of the drone is and the camera in this shot here. Okay, so now we're transitioning to the next waypoint, waypoint number three. And the focus point is point of interest number two. It's going to focus on it momentarily. Right there. 
and it's heading to waypoint number four and it's going to refocus on point of interest number three. Point of interest number three is right over that gray roof building there. Now that I'm heading to the next waypoint, which is set at a higher altitude, 299 feet, you can see the altitude is increasing. The point of interest for this waypoint is set for point of interest number one, which is the original one where the boats are located. And now that it's reached the final waypoint, waypoint number five, it's going to execute the return home. Alright guys, so that is it. I cannot emphasize how much enjoyment I've got with the Litchi app. It has literally helped me to enjoy use of the DJI drones by at least twofold. So I highly recommend checking out the videos. I do have other videos specifically on the Litchi app. So go ahead and check the link in the description to see a full playlist. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, appreciate you always hitting that like button. And as always, I've got a lot more videos coming up for all different kinds of drones with all different kinds of tutorials. So go ahead and subscribe if you like. Alright, thanks again. Happy flying. Bye.